What a long day. There's nothing going on and I'm so bored. We could play something. Yeah, but what do you want to play? A long time ago at school, we put on a play and it was a whole lot of fun for everyone. What a great idea, Alfred. We can all play a part in it. The hardest thing is deciding which play to do. Why don't we do the three little pigs? I'm already a little pig. That sounds like a good idea. I could be the wolf since I'm already a dog. Rita and Milo could be two more little pigs. But what should we do with Mumu and Talalo? We could make Mumu the narrator of the story. And Talalo... Talalo can be in the crew and help out. Sounds good to me. Let's go get everything ready. My dear friends, I'm going to tell you the best story that you will ever hear. It's called Alfred the Wolf and the Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived in the countryside. Each was very different from one another. And they were threatened by a ferocious wolf. They decided to build houses of their own to take shelter. Rita was very tall and yellow and didn't like working very much, so she decided to build a little house made of straw so she could finish quickly and go out and play. But what Rita didn't know was that the wolf was about to give her the biggest scare of her life. On the other hand, we have Milo. Milo was a great worker and a wonderful carpenter, so he decided to build a house made of wood. Milo was sure that his house was very strong and never thought for one second that anything bad could happen to him. He's a real expert creating houses made of wood, but what he really wants to do is finish quickly to go out and play with Rita. The last pig was Olga, the best looking and hardest working little pig the valley had ever seen. Olga decided to build a house made from stone and brick. It was a very strong house and was very secure even if it took a lot of effort. I've already finished my house, and you should know that my house is made of straw and is just as good as yours made of wood. What a waste of time. Mine is already complete. I'm the fastest and the best. <laughs> what on earth made you build a house of stone? I made one out of straw and it's already finished. While on the other hand, you're wasting time making a house of stone? <laughs> All of a sudden, a strong, ferocious, and terrible wolf approached our friends with the intention of eating them all up in one single bite. By the time they noticed, the wolf was already very close and they all yelled, A wolf! A wolf! They all went inside their respective houses and just barely saved themselves. But the wolf was very hungry, so he decided to go to Rita's house. I'm so hungry! I'm gonna eat the little pig who's inside this house! You won't be able to come in my house! That's what you think! I'll show you how I can huff and puff and blow your house down! The wolf blew very hard and the house went flying through the air. Rita, afraid that the wolf was going to eat her, ran as fast as she could into the house made of wood. But the ferocious wolf followed her. Come out of that house or I'm going to eat you! We will never come out. This house is very strong and you won't be able to come inside. That's what you think. I'll huff and I'll puff until this house flies away too! The ferocious wolf huffed and puffed and the house trembled but remained in place. He blew again and the house flew up in the air. Rita and Mila were shocked to see that the house had been blown away and they quickly started running to Olga's house. But the wolf followed them. Come out or I'll huff and I'll puff and blow this house down too. 
I don't think you'll be able to do that with this one. I'm sorry, Mr. Wolf. That's what you think. Now I'll show you. Wolf blew and blew, but the house wouldn't move. You see, Mr. Wolf, you can't blow away this house. <sighs> the wolf tried, but the house wouldn't move. Then the wolf went up on the roof and tried to get in through the chimney. But the three little pigs lit the fireplace. And the wolf reached the ground. He burned his behind and ran away. Ouch! 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 That really burns! It really burns! Finally, the little pigs were safe, and the wolf never came back to bother them again. End of the story. When I grow up, I've decided I want to be a very famous cook and prepare the best dishes in the world. But Rita, the last time you cooked a simple fried egg, you almost burned the whole kitchen. Ah! Oh. Ha ha! What does that have to do with knowing how to cook? The thing with the fried egg was an accident, nothing more. Anyway, I've also decided that to be the best cook in the world, I'll go to the best culinary school in the country. Whatever you say, Rita. While you become the best chef in the world, I'm going to become a soprano. A what? A soprano is a person who sings opera. But, Momo, you don't even know what opera is. Who says I don't? Now I'll show you how well I can sing. <coughs> oh, sole mio. Oh, sole oh. mio. Oh. What was that horrendous noise? It sounded like a cry for help. Moo Moo, I must confess something to you. At first I thought you were awful, but after a while when I could no longer hear anything, it sounded really nice. You have a bright future in singing. Thank you, Rita. I know as a singer I'll become a superstar. Moo Moo. <laughs> Rita, did you hear that dreadful noise? I didn't hear anything. And you, Rita, did you hear something? Rita? Can't you hear me? Did you hear that noise? Moo Moo, what's wrong with Rita? I don't know. Rita, can you hear me? Hey there, Olga, how's it going? Why are you talking so low? I can't hear you, you'll have to speak a little louder. It looks like Rita has gone a little deaf. Could it be from that noise we heard? Well, I didn't hear a thing. I was singing opera with Rita, and I didn't hear a sound. What's that? Opera? Were you the one who was making that noise? What do you mean a noise? I was singing a song in E minor, very sharp. Mumu, please don't sing again in front of me. I'm begging you. I see you don't appreciate my talent. I'm going to rehearse far away from here. Olga, when I grow up, I'm going to be a fantastic cook. Very good, Rita. But you don't have to shout, I'm not deaf. Hi, friends. What you doing? Well, Moo Moo and I were deciding on our future careers. I'm going to be a chef, and Moo Moo's going to be an opera singer. And you, Milo? What do you want to be when you grow up? Well, I've always wanted to be a doctor. I'll travel the world taking care of people who are sick. Well, you can start with Rita, oh? who has gone deaf thanks to <laughs> Moo Moo's vocal cords. <laughs> now I hear just fine, now that Moo Moo is singing somewhere else. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a detective. I like to investigate everything that goes on in the valley. Detective? Hmm, what a great idea. You can investigate why Moo Moo sings so badly, right? <laughs> I don't think there's any solving that crime. <laughs> I don't understand why they don't like my sweet voice. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. I'm going to rehearse a lot, and this afternoon I'm going to give them a concert that they'll never forget. Pew, 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 pew. 
Kalala, you gotta slow down. I can't understand you. A concert? Mumu? Tonight? Oh, that tonight Mumu wants to sing a concert of opera. But that's awful. I couldn't take it, not even for a minute. It's no big deal. She's not that bad. And after a few seconds, we'll become deaf anyway. There's got to be a way for us to get out of this concert. Hi, friends. What are you all doing? Alfred, you've got to help us. Mumu has decided that she wants to become an opera singer. And tonight she wants to give a concert for all of us. But the poor thing does it so badly that we won't be able to take it. Well, this dilemma appears to have a simple solution. We'll cover Boo-Boo's mouth so she can't sing. Alfred, how are we going to cover her mouth? Moo's our friend, and if she wants to sing, we have to let her do it. What a great idea, Talalo. That's what we'll do. Hi, Moo. What's up? I've got a surprise that I've prepared for all of you. Ooh. I'm going to perform a concert of opera right now. Oh, how nice. A concert. All right, Moo Moo. I'm sure you'll do a great job. Yeah, a great job. But you'd better not run away or anything. Of course not, Moo Moo. We're your friends, and we'll stay until the end. Are you ready? Oh, sole mio, oh, sole mio.